It's scientifically proven, in my opinion, that being in a relationship makes you ugly. Disney has been trying to tell y'all since day one, boyfriend air and the girlfriend glow up, they're not conspiracy theories. They're real. Y'all just haven't been paying attention. Men make you ugly. Women unintentionally make the people they're with better looking. The girlfriend glow up. Example one. This is Aladdin before he met Jasmine. He was a peasant, a street urchin, an urchin after getting with Jasmine. What is he now? He's a king. Girlfriend glow up. Single, in a relationship with Belle. He was a beast. He wasn't a beast in the gym. He wasn't a beast in the bedroom. He was a beast, meaning he had rash of breath. Turned him into a king. Now let's go look at the boyfriend air that they've been warning y'all about. Do I even have to explain this one? Y'all saw part one, single, relationship. Princess, ogre. Castle, swamp. That's all I'm gonna say. Rapunzel, single, in a relationship. You change every night, you change every night. That is the face of a woman who just got the great clips, beauty school dropout, special. Does she look happy? No, she was not happy. Boyfriend error. Boyfriend error is a theory that centers around how being in the presence of a boyfriend or a male partner affects the hygiene and presentability of their female partner. I feel like if I would like sleep at my boyfriend's for like a day, two days, two nights, whatever, I would turn into this like monster. Is it because they're dirty? I think like they're just, they let off this like humid air. Men make you ugly part two. Ariana Grande before getting with Doodle Bob, Ariana Grande after getting with Doodle Bob. Personally, I think he sucked the life out of her like sisters. If we need any further proof of this theory, look no further than Tiana and the Princess and the Frog, because what was she trying to do? She was trying to make him better, but what happened instead? He turned a princess into a frog, an amphibian. He made her green. This also proves my deep rooted belief that when the devil can't reach you, he will send a French speaking man, but that is neither here nor there. There is no better example of a man taking you out of your feminine energy than Mulan. There's even an entire song called I'll Make a Man Out of You. And then when he finds out that Mulan is actually a woman, I don't think he's disgusted, but then he abandons her because that's what dusties do. And what do women do? They go and rescue men. She saved the entire country from the Huns because that's what women do. If you've heard of boyfriend air, hear me out because I have a theory. So I don't think it has anything to do with like, oh my God, the air in my boyfriend's house is so he keeps his sheets dirty. That's not it. So what it actually is, is that you wind up not knowing what you want to do for yourself when you realize nobody else cares. And you wind up realizing your boyfriend doesn't care if you shave your legs. He doesn't care if you wash your hair. He'll think you're beautiful anyways. And how wonderful that is. Seriously, it's wonderful. But then you realize, why, who am I doing these things for? So you stop doing most of it and you stop caring. And you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't like who I see anymore. And you realize you weren't doing it for him. You weren't doing it for society. You were doing it, a lot of it, because you wanted to feel good about the way you liked yourself and the way you looked in the mirror. And honestly, go find those things. Find the things that make you feel like you and make you feel good about yourself and go back to them, all of them. So I saw this trending on TikTok and I was like, wow, we all think the same way where it was trending that your relationship is making you ugly. Now, if you've ever had a friend that before this friend got into a relationship, they were just a baddie, right? A baddie had their thing going on, look great, this and that. And then slowly you're starting to see an eye bags. You're starting to see they just don't have that zest that they had, that life, that thing that made them attractive and energetic and polished and all that they just slowly start to lose it why is that and are you are you in that let's talk about it first hey friend welcome to my channel Korean Elude Mental Gems this channel is dedicated to leveling up in all areas of your life so let us learn together read together but most importantly grow together now without further ado let's get into this video so there's a saying that I used to say in the Haitian community that you can always tell when a woman is married it's not like that now with our modernized Haitian women but you can always tell when the woman is married because she just looks terrible <laughs> she starts to age a little quicker when she gets married and then you can always tell when they have kids because it just happens and one of the reasons it's not necessarily because you know marriage is a bad thing or getting into a relationship is a bad thing that's not what it is I don't think that's what it is but it doesn't even mean that your spouse is necessarily bad but your idea of how much responsibility you're supposed to have is bad let's get into some of the reasons why your relationship might be making you ugly one of course the biggest one is that you might have just entered into a toxic relationship so a lot of people get into a toxic relationship now you're fighting all the time you're losing sleep and you're staying up stressed now you're getting headache figuring out hey you call me if it's toxic you're definitely going to add some years unto your life and 
and you're going to start losing your luster. You're going to be stressed all the time, develop health problems, etc. That's not going to be good for you. <laughs> okay. That is one of the ways. One of the second ways, even in a happy relationship, you're in a happy relationship. You gain like 15 pounds in that relationship in the first couple happy phases because you guys are going out eating a lot, you're staying in and getting busy, etc. And it just, you gain a little weight and you start to, you know, that same, that person that used to keep themselves together and polish, it starts to go away a little bit. You get a little bit comfortable and you're happy. You don't even realize it. So it's not necessarily a stress thing, but now you're a little bit more puffy. You eat more sodium. You're drinking more alcohol because you want a little drinky drink when Bay is around and you're getting lit together and stuff. And it just starts to show that polish is a gone. And another thing that women do not pay attention to is if you are now on birth control because you're being intimate or you're taking plan B or you're terminating pregnancies, that's a real one. Let's keep it real that if you're doing those things, they take a toll on your gut microbiome and it affects your skin your hair, your health overall, you developing all types of gut issues and stuff. Because a lot of women go through gut issues and they don't know that it has a lot to do with that too. And it does. It really, really does. That plays a role in how you look because you're doing these things in a higher frequency. Now, the next thing is for the married women. Now you get married, okay? And a lot of Haitian women, the reason why is a guy could be a great guy. It's a great marriage. But Haitian women are very traditional in the sense that they do feel like everything home-related is them. They won't ask for help in cleaning the house. They won't ask for help in raising the children. And in terms of like, you know, um, the well-being of the kids, hair, makeup, school, all those things, that's the mom. And on top of that, if she's working too, is just a done deal. And they still put out at night and stuff like that. That's just that traditional mindset. And guess who's thriving in the marriage? The guy tends to always look old, um, younger and a little bit better when he gets married. He's having someone do his laundry for him, cook for him, making his life easier. Of course, he seems to be thriving and doing better while the woman tends to age a little bit quicker. And so that mentality tends to change that. But in these more modern marriages, especially with our Haitian sisters and brothers and the care being sued, the women are asking like, hey, I cook, you wash the dishes, you know, or go tuck in the kids for bed. I'll shower them and put their clothes on, but you're going to tuck them in and read them their bedtime story. And we're at me time or, hey, come help me fold the laundry together as we play something on the TV. And men are a little bit more open to that, to where now it's not so much on the woman. But when it's so much on the women, they tend to take the hit and that just ages them and makes them look really, really badly. So those are a lot of the factors too. And of course, there's more when you have children. Once the women have children, it just gets worse because now they're sleep deprived. They are breastfeeding or feeding all the time, changing diapers, doing those things to where now they don't have time to really take care of themselves like they used to, to wash their hair or, you know, put on makeup or outfits and go out or do it. It's just more like you have to you know, get into the routine of it, especially when you don't have help. So it's very good balance to try to get as much help as possible to still maintain to take care of yourself. Now, how do you, how can you reverse this? I I haven't been in a relationship to um, get the ugly relationship look because you cannot, this is a result of not in all cases, but most cases, when the woman makes, or the guy even, because it's uh, for the guy too, they make the relationship their everything. So they make that relationship their everything and their life surrounds around it. So once they get it, it's all about the relationship, relationship, all the things you used to do before, like read books and go to the gym and do your hair and clean up your house and all those things like for your mental health and for your beauty, you stop doing your skincare, start getting your facials and stuff. Not all women get ugly in relationships. There's some that actually thrive and look wonderful because they continue. Au contraire, they use the relationship. So let me really keep myself up and, you know, and keep it up. And I feel like it's all about still having your own identity, still respecting yourself and caring for yourself. There's a level of respect you have for yourself where you want to stay your best for you, not necessarily for the relationship that you're in. So the party don't stop whether you're here or not, because I always know the ones that were really living for the relationship, because once a breakup happens or it ends up really bad, those are the the same ones that will have a glow up right after the relationship, right? They'll just glow up. They lose all the weight. They try a new hairstyle. Now they're doing 
all these things that make the guy want to circle back. <laughs> but sis, like, why didn't you do this while you were still in a relationship? You would have had respect for yourself. And this person would have had a little bit more respect for you where, you know, it, it could have been a whole different story. But it happens after and it shouldn't be that. And then unfortunately, sometimes when it happened after, it is the person healing and then glowing up. But nine out of ten times, too, it's them just trying to get the person back or get their revenge body. That's where the concept of the revenge body comes from. Comment below if you're feeling what I'm saying. I would say with this, because it is a very funny concept. It is very interesting also that... I wouldn't say that the relationship is necessarily what's making people ugly. It's your mindset and it's how much the relationship means to you, how much you're letting yourself go, how much work are you putting on yourself once you're married with the kids? Like, where are you setting the limits, the boundaries? When are you having me time? How much, you know, do you love you? How much do you love you? When you love yourself first, it shows. There's a way you're just not going to look if when you love yourself. Like, it's just, you're not going to let yourself get to the deep end. And I feel like before you get into a relationship, you should have that. And in some cases, if the man is that toxic that now you're getting eye bags you're staying up you're stressing you're fighting every two business hours <laughs> not even days then you might want to cut that out because once you you get tired of it there is an age even women that are getting beat unless they die while they're young in that you know toxic situation there's an age you get you tired you're not going to want to keep in the same mess and once you're there you look back you're like oh my goodness i gave my youth to this guy. This is where a lot of women start to talk like that. I gave you my youth. I gave you my best years. How many times have you heard that? It's when the woman looked back and realized not only how much she hasn't accomplished, but how much she let herself go by putting the guy first. Before you know it, you're 40 pounds heavier and don't know where it came from because you allowed him to stress you out and eat you like a leech. Leech on you, your youth, your vitality, your efforts. And it's just, it's not the vibes. It's not the vibes. Okay. So I do believe that some women get prettier. There's women that get married, they just glow up. And you're like, oh, marriage did good for you, this and that. But it's healthy. It's the state of mind. We're not going to put the blame on men. I think we can put some accountability on ourselves that when we are in toxic situations that aren't helping us physically, mentally, spiritually, that we learn to. To get out right and not just that but that before you get into a relationship you're desperate to be loved to go on dates or vacations and stuff that you make sure you do those things for you too like you go on vacations you you don't gotta wait for a vacation go on your own vacation be in your solitude okay go on your vacations and do the facials for you groom yourself for you have your self-care day for you go get your nails and toes done for you okay everything you do dress for you do your hair for you first that when you're in a relationship it's a habit that's already there you're doing it for you first you are able to stay consistent and once a relationship starts to interfere a little too much with your self-care you start to see because mm -mm. when someone loves you they want you to be mentally good they want you to be spiritually good, financially good, physically good. It's an honor to them, a blessing for them for you to look your best and be at your best. So they're not going to ruin that for you. They're not going to tell you it's a waste of time. There's a lot of men, I say that in the Haitian community, that's one thing I'll say. And, you know, they'll pay for your nails and your toes and for you to get off. And the men find it a flex when their wives look good, like, hey, that's my wife. <laughs> that's my wife. It's a flex for them too, you know? That's when they love their woman. Not the man. It's all, he don't want you to look good. Now you used to wear your hair really nice. Now he's making you wear it down. You got to wear frumpy clothes. You got to be a certain way because he's insecure and stuff like that. And you start to age and look terrible. He don't, I don't think he love you. You're not seeing it as a flex. You don't want nobody else to look at you while he's looking at other people. Okay. So you have to be confident also to avoid the relationship phase. <laughs> And they say you can always tell when someone's in a relationship because they have the relationship face. Yeah, so avoid the relationship face. Do you have a relationship face? You know when you have a relationship face. You, you do. You can always tell when someone's in a relationship that makes a relationship about everything. But you can't always tell um, if the person, regardless if they're in a relationship or not, they're still the same person. You know what I mean? That's the best advice I can get to this. I'm not going to like talk in circles about it and make this video much longer. But it's definitely an interesting take. Comment below your thoughts. Do you have the relationship face? <laughs> 
comment below if you have the relationship phase. And do you think the rules may apply to men too? I don't think so. They have it a little easier, right, ladies, right? But I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Comment below what other subjects you guys would like me to cover. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.